Hello friends, this video on life processes part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the next part that is the stomach. So now the food which was taken in through mouth has reached stomach. Now what happens in stomach? So what is stomach? Stomach is an organ you can see here which has got muscular walls so walls of the stomach are again muscular so this stomach is, uh, is it is a kind of a hollow space kind of a thing it is like you can consider it like a bag so it has it is a bag kind of structure which has got muscular walls which are flexible so the stomach is capable of expanding and contracting because it has got muscular walls and that those muscles can contract and relax so the stomach can increase its size so it so happens that when you are hungry, you start eating. So you feel that, you, you get a feeling that your stomach is getting filled. Now if you eat too much, when you overeat, what happens? Too much of food enters into the stomach. So the stomach actually get expanded. Right? So what happens to the stomach? It expands as food enters. It has got muscular walls. As I said, now what is the purpose of this muscular wall? So these muscular walls will again be capable of contraction and relaxation and this rhythmic movement of the muscles of the wall of the stomach will actually help in mixing the food with the digestive juices which are present in the stomach because stomach is a, is a place where digestion actually happens and for digestion what do we need? We need enzymes, right? So stomach is a place where we have enzymes. So this muscular wall of the stomach will actually help in mixing the food with the digestive juices, right? Now stomach contain gastric glands which secrete enzymes, hydrochloric acid and mucus. Now what are gastric glands? Before that, what are glands? Glands are the organs that synthesizes and releases some substances. So these glands so we have several glands in our body. For example, we have the endocrine glands, the exocrine glands. So what are glands actually? These are organs that synthesize and releases substances like hormones and enzymes. Examples, when you think of the mammary gland which females have, so that mammary gland produces milk during the lactation period, right? So there are many different types of glands which produces some hormones or enzymes and they can produce them either into the blood or they can produce them into the body cavity, right? So stomach also has some specific, special type of gland which are known as gastric glands and these glands produce an enzyme known as pepsin. Now what is the purpose of this enzyme pepsin? This enzyme pepsin actually helps in digestion of proteins. Because when we take in complex food, that food will have carbohydrates, the food will also have proteins, the food will also have fats. So we need enzymes to digest each of them. It is not that if only carbohydrate is digested, that is good enough. We don't need to digest the proteins. Everything needs to be digested, right? Because everything is in its, com is in its complex form. So as I said, in, in the mouth, we had salivary amylase. So salivary amylase was used for digestion of carbohydrates. Not complete digestion, but at least it was converting the complex sugars into little simple sugars. So these enzyme pepsin is used for digestion of proteins. Right? Now what is the purpose of this hydrochloric acid? So this gland is creating the enzyme, but at the same time it is also producing some hydrochloric acid. So what is the purpose of hydrochloric acid here? Now this hydrochloric acid will kill microbes if there are any in the food. Kill microbes if any in food. Because see when we 
consume food it might be possible that there are some small bacteria or something inside that food so this hydrochloric acid will help in killing those kind of microbes but sometimes those microbes are too much in quantity and even after the presence of the hydrochloric acid they might cause some disease or some infection inside our body but this acid at least tries to kill some microbes which are present in the food what is the other function of this hydrochloric acid this hydrochloric acid makes the medium acidic so whenever some acid is present the medium will become acidic right but what is the advantage of the medium becoming acidic now if the medium becomes acidic acidic the gastric enzymes will be able to work that means these gastric enzymes as i said pepsin the gastric enzymes work only in acidic medium so that means we need something to make the medium acidic so for that they secrete hydrochloric acid as well so the stomach has gastric glands which which secrete gastric enzymes which help in digestion of proteins it also secretes hydrochloric acid which makes the medium acidic so that the gastric enzymes can actually become active so these gastric enzymes like pepsin are not active in an alkaline medium so they want the medium to be acidic now what is the purpose of mucus what is mucus first of all mucus is a viscous sleep i mean viscous slimy liquid like thing so what is the purpose of uh, mucus this mucus prevents too much of hydrochloric acid to get deposited in the stomach because if too much of hydrochloric acid gets deposited what will happen the medium will become too much acidic and that can give rise to acidity you would have heard that many people complain when they eat uh, too much of oily food or when the digestion is not proper they often say that today i am having um, the problem of acidity so what is this acidity when too much of hydrochloric acid gets accumulated in the walls of the stomach acidity can happen so this mucus actually prevents hydrochloric acid prevents hydrochloric acid to get deposited in excess so see if we don't have all these things if we do not have mucus in that case what will happen since hydrochloric acid is something which is constantly getting secreted by the gastric glands so every time there is lot of acid inside the stomach but due to the presence of the mucus the problem of acidity does not arise every time because most of the time mucus is able to prevent the hydrochloric acid from getting deposited because mucus is something which is slippery and slimy so even though the acid wants to get deposited on the walls so mucus will just push it forward so it does not allow the acid to get deposited so digestion happens here with the help of gastric enzymes so we saw that now digestion has started right so i hope you are getting the flow right so the food intake or ingestion happened at mouth then the food reached buccal cavity in buccal cavity what happened the food was broken down into smaller size with the help of teeth and also salivary amylase is converted starch into simple sugar then the food passed through pharynx from pharynx it went to the esophagus or the food pipe the food pipe brought the food to the stomach in stomach digestion started with the help of gastric enzymes like pepsin and for pepsins to act they want the medium to be acidic so for that these glands also secreted hydrochloric acid which made the medium acidic but since too much of accumulation of hydrochloric acid can give rise to the problem of acidity that is why the gastric glands also secreted mucus which is a slimy slippery substance and prevents the accumulation of hydrochloric acid in stomach clear so i hope we are clear with this so with this we finish our discussion on stomach so now where will the food go from stomach so after stomach the food should go to the small intestine so before that we will also talk about some of the other digestive glands which are present inside our body so what are the digestive glands which are present inside our body the first one is liver so liver is the largest gland in the human body so where which is the liver here so this red colored structure which you see here is liver so you can see how big it is so this is the largest gland in the human body so gland as i said what is gland it is an organ which synthesizes and releases substances like hormones and enzymes so what does this liver secretes so liver secretes 
a juice called bile juice which is stored in gallbladder so again you are getting new names so what is gallbladder here you can see a green colored structure right so this green colored structure is known as gallbladder so this liver being a gland it secretes bile juice what does the bile juice consist of the bile juice consists of the bile pigments as well as some enzymes so and this bile juice is secreted by liver but it is stored in the gallbladder now what is the function of this bile juice it helps in emulsification of fats that means in the digestion of fats when the complex fats are converted into the simple fatty acids so this bile juice helps it it actually does not digest it but it helps it how does it help we will see that in the later slides it makes the medium alkaline the way hydrochloric acid makes the medium acidic this bile juice makes the medium alkaline it activates the action of pancreatic and intestinal enzymes so as you have seen in case of stomach the gastric enzymes needed an acidic medium to act similarly the enzymes which are secreted by the intestine the intestinal enzymes and the pancreatic enzymes what are pancreatic enzymes the enzymes which are secreted by pancreas so pancreas is another gland so we will talk about pancreas just now so what is the function of liver it is a gland which secretes bile juice bile juice is stored in this gallbladder what is the function of bile juice bile juice will help in the digestion of fats by making the medium alkaline so once it turns the make medium alkaline so what will happen the pancreatic enzymes and the intestinal enzymes will be able to act so let us now talk about pancreas it is the second largest gland so where is pancreas you can see some green colored structure just behind the stomach so this structure is pancreas so this is also a bigger gland it secretes pancreatic juice so what does the pancreatic juice consist of now pancreatic juice consists of three types of enzymes it consists of an enzyme called trypsin it also consists of an enzyme called pancreatic amylase and it consists of another enzyme called pancreatic lipase so these are the three enzymes which is present in the pancreatic juice now what are the function of each of these enzymes trypsin digest proteins pancreatic amylase digest starch so any enzyme which has amylase they generally digest starch because even salivary amylase was also used in digestion of starch right and pancreatic lipase digest fats lipase it is related to the word lipids so it digests fats so now if you see this pancreatic juice actually contains all the enzymes which help in digestion of proteins carbohydrates as well as fats now in order that these pancreatic enzymes start acting the uh, the medium has to be alkaline so that medium is made alkaline by the bile juice now what does that mean where is this where does this pancreatic enzymes act on the food so it is not in the pancreas it is somewhere else so where it is let us see thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again